Let me make this clear. There's no stuntmen. There's no special effects. There's these motorcycles. We spent $16 in bark busters for this one and about 40 bucks in carburetors for both of them. But other than that, these are exactly the same way that they came to us when we bought them from Amazon for $950 and for $750. So backflips have become the standard dirt bike riding, but we are not talented enough to do backflips. So to see if the bikes are tough enough, we decided to ghost flip the pit bikes. This proved to be a little more difficult than we thought, so we just started throwing the bikes into a large hole towards a giant rock. You got this dude like ripping it and Caleb's trying to pop a wheelie. There's, there's no freaking front brakes, man. Then we saw some other dirt bike riders who looked like they knew what they were doing. So we kindly asked them if they wanted to abuse one of our bikes. That thing's pretty sweet. It's under a thousand bucks on Amazon. Dude. Really? <laughs> I would totally buy one of them just to yeah. beat around on. That thing's awesome. <laughs> you want to take it for a spin? I won't do anything cool. <laughs> it up. The Apollo handed a guy rider great, but proved that it couldn't handle a girl. And within 30 feet, she had broke it. You know it's considered rude to break someone else's bike. You know that, right? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'd be surprised if it was me, but... It is Craig's fault. Oh, Everything it's is Craig's, Craig's fault. fault. First Craig launch, just likes to break our First you launch our Chinese the dual sport into a river. Oh, for real? Yeah. Did it came off when he was jumping? I don't know. I went to my boot probably hit it. While they were testing the Apollo, Caleb had wandered off and misplaced his dirt bike. Yo, where's my bike? Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? He's gonna, this is how you use your time? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to get this out? Wow. Ah. Oh! You just ripped your pants! <laughs> <laughs> that did not just happen! <laughs> what a day! What a day! This is, this is my luck! <laughs> you can never get up! Taltau proved that even Burial could not kill this bike. So while I was doing some gratuitous dirt bike things, Caleb, his dirt bike was kind of bogging down and clogging up his intake. Caleb came up with the worst possible plan to clean his motorcycle off. To your left, dude, to your left more. Two left, there you go. <laughs> that went off. I got real deep real quick. <clears throat> tilt the bike, let's tilt the bike up. Bring her up, keep bringing her up. Oh. 
We may have uh, flooded it. Hydro locked it. <laughs> and then while Caleb wandered off, he once again misplaced his dirt bike. All right, guys, you ready to go? Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me right now. I just pulled it out of here. <laughs> So while the towel towel is out for the count, and while I was doing some more unnecessary dirt bike things, and realizing how frustrating it was that we could not complete a ghost ride backflip, at that moment, I noticed something, and had possibly the greatest idea I've ever had. So when a bikes and beards first, we've officially destroyed both motorcycles. The tail tail got uh, hydro locked and the Apollo uh, got pushed off a mountain. So I guess you guys are right. Uh, these bikes were junk. They're not worth the price we paid. They're not worth your money and you might as well buy uh, something else. But maybe not. This morning, I spent about 45 minutes, took the carb apart, clean it out, replace the spark plug. And this, and the tail tail's running. And here's what happened after this thing was pushed off the mountain. All right guys, thanks for watching. We have a lot more fun videos for you. Subscribe and we'll see you guys next week. So you might remember in the first episode, me getting real anal about Caleb taking these plastics off. This is my big plan right here. Take the plastics off after it got all dirty. It's like a brand new motorcycle.